Hey everybody, Rob back again with another video. Today I want to talk about what the hell is going on over on Collider. I already did a video about this previously, but before we start on that, I just want to take this time to say thank you guys for helping me get over 23,000 subscribers. If you guys are coming in for the very first time, please hit that like button because it helps out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and shit. And if you subscribe to the channel, that would really help out even more. So thank you guys for coming in. So I did a video a few days ago about maybe almost a week ago I think it was like a little little under a week ago about how Mark Fernandez just like basically Thanos snapped everything from Collider gone I did my whole rant on how I knew Mark Fernandez was going and just running the product that John Campia and the rest of those guys built into the ground. I, I did that whole rant. That ain't about this. We're not going to rant on that. But since then, more drama has come out. More drama has come out. Some little shit by the name of Jack Hine came out. It was basically, you know, rubbing it in the face of the people that got fired and so on. So this, there's been a lot of backlash on everything that's happened over at Collider. So Mark Fernandez came out yesterday in this town hall. If you guys don't know, Mark Fernandez is the CEO of Collider. He's the one who bought Collider from Frosty and Complex. And he's the one that single-handedly ran it straight first into that brick wall like he ran right into the brick wall so mark fernandez is the guy and, and i've said this many times you guys ever watched his rule two show with mark riley you can listen to the man talk and he clearly he's not stupid but he doesn't understand things sometimes like, like something just you know he doesn't he doesn't grip them and, and look i don't understand everything all the time either i sometimes stuff is staring me right in the face and then I don't, I don't get it. I, I need people to explain it to me. I understand. But when you own a business like this, you, you need to keep what works working. You know, stop working on this deep fake shit or whatever. Anyway, so Mark Fernandez came out with his town hall yesterday. And I just want to play a little clip for everybody and just kind of tell you what he says. Okay, I want to react to a clip here. So I'm going to go ahead and play this clip, okay? Let, let, let me turn the volume up a little higher, okay? So here's, here's the clip. And I started at 39 minutes. The coach, the whole thing was an hour and 13 minutes. But I'm going to start at 39 minutes. I only want to play about two minutes of it. So I want to show this to you guys. Josh McCuga. Um, Josh and I um, have written a screenplay together. And I know I'm probably going to get some fun, some fun comments about this. Um, and we wrote a screenplay together. It's a, it's a, it, it's a, it's a mafia story. Um, and man, do I love this friggin' script. I absolutely love this script. And I'm gonna make this friggin' script. I'm gonna make it, and I'm gonna make it with Josh. And uh, I'm very, very excited about it. I friggin' love Josh. And, and um, as a little side note, Rumor Mill is another show that, um, that we're not doing anymore uh, for now, but man, what a brilliant it up, show. And you guys, you know, you guys weren't really watching it, but yeah, blame the fans. On the channel. Um, if you want to check out some blame brilliant, the fans. brilliant, brilliant, brilliant show, check out Rumor Mill. Check out um, the incredible dynamic. <laughs> I'm looking at the live chat. Josh someone said midlife crisis. Jeff Snyder. General Banks said Perry, midlife crisis. Roca. I mean, this is literally was my favorite show. Um, and you know, unfortunately, we weren't getting like any views on it. But man, what a great show yeah. Rumor Mill was. And Josh McCuga, this guy. any crazy idea that I have, you know, um, Josh is, is, is ready to jump on it. Oh, boy. Uh, Mark Ellis. Watch this. Mark Ellis. Um, Mark Ellis is, um, he's, uh, he's probably the kindest dude. Yeah, um, Mark Ellis is a is a saint. Um, you know, uh, during during the the snap thing. Um, no, I'm uh, I'm okay. Um. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to stop it right there. Look, he is clearly upset about this. 
But is he upset because he's legit upset? That's that's the thing I want to... Like, that's the question I ask. Is he upset because he's legit upset? Or is he upset because now people are calling him out on his bullshit? That's the question I'm asking. I'm asking you guys. Is he upset because he's legitimately upset? Or is he upset because fans literally called him out on his bullshit? Look, I understand. Like, I didn't watch this whole thing. I don't care. I unsubscribed from Collider. I do not care about Collider anymore. I don't care about Mark Fernandez. I do not care about the Collider or Collider product. The people that I care from Collider, I now follow separately. I follow John Campia. I have ever since he left Collider. And I follow Christian Harloff, SEN, ever since he left Collider. So those are the people I care about, other than Ken Napsok, who I follow on Forest Center. So, I'm not following Collider no more. I'm not watching this entire hour and 13 minutes of him just talking about deep fakes and all this shit. But I've watched other people's reaction to this. And apparently, he has come out and said, look, we are not legally obligated to give anybody a notice before we did this. Okay, that's fine, Mark Fernandez. That's fine. You're not legally obligated. How about being a fucking human? How about showing some goddamn compassion, some humanity, and giving these people at least... A week's notice? A fucking 24-hour notice, son. You sat there and let everybody celebrate on a Christmas party, the Collider Christmas party. And then, soon as it hit January 1st, you fired everybody without even telling them the day before. You fucked them, and you fucked them without the fucking common courtesy of giving them lube. That's what you did, Mark. You fucked them, and the fans are calling you out. You want to focus on deep fakes? Look. Deep fake. The first deep fake that came out, I thought was hilarious. I thought the first George Lucas deep fake was hilarious. Then the second one came out, which I believe was the Mandalorian trailer. I thought that was funny. And then what happened was you kept doing them. The round table thing with all this, that wasn't funny. I didn't laugh at all. And then the George Lucas camping out, like I giggled a couple times. Each time you came out with another one, they were less and less humorous. Because we were already getting used to that. You cannot sustain deep fake as a business model. You cannot. It's a fad. It's going to go away. People want to come to Collider because they feel an attachment to these these hosts, to these these I want to say characters, even though that they're not really characters. But you know, people come to my channel. I hope because they know that Robert Storms is going to keep it real. I'm not going to bend over. If I don't like a certain movie and the majority love it, at least they know I'm being real with them. That I'm not making it up. That I'm not just saying that to go with the group. You know, I hope that people come to my channel because of me and the fact that I keep it real. That was something Collider used to do back, back when Collider first started with AMC Movie Talk. It was something they used to do. And somewhere down the line, this guy, this man, this twinkle toe cocksucker, this sweet and sour chicken ass motherfucker right here, he is the reason why all everything started crumbling underneath. He started focusing on things that didn't need to be focused on. He started letting talent that people cared about go away. And now he's trying to do damage control. I didn't legally have to give anybody any notice. No, but how about fucking common courtesy? How about common courtesy? I mean, you would take someone out to dinner before you would try to fuck them, right? At least I would hope so. Come on, Mark. You're supposed to be a businessman. Show some fucking business class, son. Show some class. Anyway, I don't feel sorry for this dude. I do not feel sorry for this dude. I've been calling this dude out since Campia left. This dude does not know what he's doing. It's only a matter of time until Collider ends up going down the toilet. That's all I got to say. But I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. And until next time, as always, I am Robert Storms. And that's my opinion.